Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose. <laughs> I also have a cat called Betty. Together we make Betty Roseville. It's a village and we all get along. I'm 25 in about two weeks. And in those 25 years, I've worked nine jobs. From fast food, to retail, to luxury retail, to a compounding pharmacy. And now I'm self-employed. Boy, boy, boy. Today I wanted to recount my experiences working in luxury retail. Particularly the ones involving the VIP. Gucci flip flop. VIPs can be in many stores. Sometimes all it takes to be a VIP in some stores is to give them their email. <laughs> Here's my email. Oh, now you're a VIP. Wow, I'm so special. It doesn't work that way in luxury retail. It's a little bit harder and it involves more money, a lot more money. So to become a VIP at any of these places, this may come as a shock to some people if you're not in the scene, you know, of luxury and brands and designers and all this stupid crap. You might think $10,000 is a lot of money. In fact, $10,000 is a lot of money. Yep, mm, not at these places. Gotcha, bitch. Mm, not really. To become a VIP at any of these brands, you want to be looking at 20 to 50k minimum spend per month. And if you happen to spend less than that next financial year or something, you're taken off the list. Now that you know how to be a VIP, <laughs> basically your your sales associate is gonna is gonna annoy the shit out of you all the time, messaging you, literally like texting your phone number, emailing you, calling you, saying, "Hey," and they're gonna act like your friend. Hey, oh my god, how you going? Hey, have you seen our new collection? Let me send you some photos. You're gonna love it. They're not your friend, okay? They just wanna. They just. They see you as a as a cow. They wanna milk you. Yeah. They wanna. They wanna. They wanna grab your tits and they wanna milk you. Okay. If you do get to this point where you're a super rich person, a super elite person, and you happen to enjoy spending your extra money at these shops, what you're gonna expect? Catering's very popular at Louis Vuitton, at least in my store I worked in. They had a whole caterer's kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, and it was used relatively often for the right person. Champagne, you know, the best champagne. Are you happy to be in Paris? We. Oui. You're gonna be getting birthday gifts, <coughs> bouquets of flowers sent to your home, actual like gifts from the brand, usually like a key ring or a scarf or some sort of small accessory. You get invited to these events. They're basically just dick slinging events where everyone just stands around and acts important and looks at stupid fancy things. Let's get into the saucy stuff. Let's get into the saucy stuff. This is one time where the law was broken for a VIP. Sometimes managers are willing to break the law in order to make their clients happy. Okay, so do you know this rapper? His name is A Boogie With The Hoodie. Look back at it. She ain't never do this before, but she good at it. Yeah, so he came in one day and he got absolutely swarmed by fans. So he ends up leaving. I think he picks out something, but he's like, look, uh, I gotta go. So he ends up getting the business card of the VIP associate. Tomorrow night he comes back. <laughs> I don't really know what happened. I don't know what the process was, what happened, how this happened, but he ends up smoking weed pussy, pussy, in the pussy, VIP marijuana. suite, which this might sound normal pussy, pussy, to you if you're from the US or somewhere else. But in Australia, especially years ago, before COVID, this was highly illegal. <laughs> he ended up smoking weed in the VIP suite because they thought if we let him do this, he's gonna spend his big dollars that he has. He's a big rapper or whatever, right? He actually ended up spending, I believe it was around 10K, which is not good. It's not really that much. And also considering they broke the law and he also held the store up. Not like how you think, but like, cause he was getting high and all of his friends were drinking so much champagne. They were drink, they were going through champagne like it was going out of style, this expensive champagne too. They had to keep the store open for longer because of him. The store had closed at six. I think he was there till like seven or eight or something, just like deliberating, talking, doing whatever rappers do. I don't know. That was a big blunder. Uh, the next day, I believe the management was not impressed. And I think that's, that's quite funny. Gotcha, anyway, bitch. I have so many more stories about this stupid shit, man. Before you roast me in the comments saying, what thing? 10K is not much. I, again, let me tell you again. 10K is a lot of money, just not in these stores. I'm just letting you know, so you don't roast me in the comments. You don't get it twisted. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. If you want to see more, make sure you let me know below. Make sure you like this video. Peace, love, and farts. <laughs> Bitch. Look back at it. She ain't never do this before, but she good at it.